Hello friends. Today I want to show you a feature that could make you want to switch to Tahoma 2D from OpenTunes and it's the implicit hold feature. So what we've got here on screen is a walk video that I made for my last video for my teapot supporters on Patreon and it's just a background video that I put together as I was chatting about the channel and about the videos I'm making for Patreon. So I went through the normal workflows I do to create a, a walk cycle. So as teapots, you can see how I put that together and how I put this video together. But I thought it'd be quite a good video to have as an example for today's feature. So you can see the drawings are all shown on ones, one drawing per frame on the timeline. I've got it set to six frames per second, which is quite slow, but this is kind of a, uh, a drawing on twos that I would normally in between. So this is using what we call explicit holds, which is the same as Tahoma used to have and OpenTunes still has now. And that basically means that each drawing is shown explicitly on a frame. And if you go to a frame without a drawing, you don't get to see any images. So let me change this to twos to show you exactly what the difference is between explicit holds and this new feature of implicit holds. So I've highlighted all the drawings and I'll press the twos button. Let's move the play marker to the end here and increase the FPS to 12 to keep the play rates going at the same visual spacing, the timing. So you can see the walk there with each drawing being shown for two frames with 12 frames per second shown uh, as the animation speed. Okay, but imagine you want to change the timing here. Now for a walking animation like this, if you change the timing, it'll make the feet slide on the floor and won't quite look right. But as a basic example, imagine you wanted to say, show drawing number three, instead of for two frames, you want to show it for longer for three frames. And maybe drawing number four, you want to show for a single frame. And then on to frame five, six, seven, and eight, in exactly the same positions now. So we want drawing number four for two frames and five for one. So what you do is you go to the second frame of, or second exposure of drawing number four, extend that drawing. Then you'd highlight the drawings, two drawings of number five, and then reduce that down to one drawing. So now drawing number six is still on frame 11, and then it's still a 16 frame cycle, but drawing four is now shown for three frames and then drawing five for one. And if you play the animation, you see a small skip in the middle there where four is held a little bit longer and then five skips through to six quite quickly. And this is only looking at one drawing, for instance, but imagine if you've got a drawing that's held for say eight frames and the following one is for six frames or something like that. And you want to really reduce the timing down and change it between just those two drawings in the middle of your animation without changing the timing beforehand or afterwards. And there's another feature in Tahoma 2D that we could use for this, and that's using the drawing replacement keys, which are the Q and W keys, which you'll find in, let me find it in the level, in the cells uh, menu item, drawing substitution to move the drawing forward or backwards, W or Q. So I could sit on frame nine here and then press the W key, which changes drawing four to drawing number five. So that's kind of the equivalent. So you could do that if you wanted to, but if you want to use the dragging ability, it's kind of a bit peculiar to do. So let me show you what you can do using the implicit frames option. So what we could do first is we convert these explicit frames to implicit, and that means taking away the extra exposures to hold to show just the individual drawings. And to make this a bit more clear, what we can do, if I highlight them all and put all the drawings onto fours, for instance. So if I right click and choose edit cell numbers, um, no, go to reframe on fours, there we are. Now every drawing is shown for four frames. And if I reduce the scaling a little bit, zoom out, so you can see all the drawings there. And now I could put the FPS up to 24. And if I loop play that, you'll see it still goes at the same pace. Put the play marker through to the end there. 
So we've got 32 frames of a slow walk cycle. Okay, so let's highlight all the drawings and convert them to an implicit drawing scene. So we do this from the scene menu. And at the bottom, you can see two options to convert between explicit and implicit holds. So you want to move to implicit holds. And it warns you that this can't be undone unless you use the revert scene option. So do save before you add run this option. I'm okay to not do so because of it's only an example scene I'm working on. So I'll hit continue. Now what we get to see is each drawing shown once on the timeline instead of being extended through the middle three frames there between each drawing. But because we're using implicit holds, if we go to the frames in between, drawing number one here is still shown because it's implicitly held. It's implied that it's held for those extra frames. And then we go to drawing two, three, four, five, and so on. And you can see that changing as I scroll through. And if I hit loop play, you'll see exactly the same walk cycle. But now this means if I want to change the timing of one of the middle drawings, I can simply grab that drawing and move it backwards. So now drawing number three is only held for two frames, and then it changes to drawing four, which is held for six. And again, I could move it back even further. So drawing three is only held for one frame, and then it jumps straight to drawing four. So if I play that. You see that little skip where it skips from three to four. That's held a bit longer, so it kind of freezes a second and then moves on. So this is a great way to adjust your timing. So let me just put drawing four back to where it should be, like that. But what if you don't want to have your drawing shown for all of the time during the gap there? Supposing you want to only show drawing three for two frames and then show nothing before drawing four. And for this kind of example, it seems a bit peculiar why you might want to do that. If you wanted to in between, you would actually create a blank drawing in the middle there. And that would be then blank for two frames before you draw the next one. But if, imagine you're not in betweening, but for some reason you don't see that drawing. All you need to do is to right click and choose to add a stop frame hold. And you see this X, faint X in the background. And that means that drawing number three will be shown on frame nine, frame 10, not on 11 or 12. And then on frame 13, you get to see drawing four. So you've got this, this stop frame in between here on frame 11, which means don't show any more drawings until you hit the next drawing. So it will just be held until you get to a new drawing. And if you want to remove this, you can select it on the timeline and just press the delete key. And now drawing number three is shown until you get to the next drawing on frame 13. And there are other shortcuts for this. So for instance, if I go to frame 11, where drawing number three is held, I can press the button here on the toolbar and that adds this stop frame on drawing 11. And again, I'll select it and press delete. And likewise, going to implicit frames, we, we chose a menu item. If I select into the timeline and then from the C menu, I can use convert to explicit holds. And you get the same warning again about saving first. And again, where the drawing would have been held, it adds the additional drawings in between if that's what you choose to have. Personally, I like the implicit hold feature. So I like to see it like this. And also I think it makes the drawing stand out a bit clearer of where you've got unique drawings. And one last thing is the option here on the timeline is where you can toggle to use the implicit holds. So if that's turned on, you'll get an implicit hold in any gaps between the drawings. And if I turn that off, because there's no drawings in the gaps there, there's nothing shown. So you get kind of like this stop frame X after each individual drawing, unless you choose to extend the drawing as I've done just there. So let's undo that drawing and turn that back on to use implicit holds. So there you have it, a new way to apply the timing on the timeline.
And for some of you, this could be the feature that convinces you to move to using Tahoma 2D. I think for some workflows, it's a real game changer. So do give it a try and see if you think it'll help your workflow. And now I'll see you next time with another Tahoma 2D new feature. And that's a guarantee.